was empty. No, no, no it, it had some water in it. And it's crazy because now my mouth is dry. Oh, man. I'm out have cotton mouth at the damn city council meeting. You said you think they watch your stream? I mean, I mean, I know they, they, they watch them sometimes. They told me they watched, they saw my stream before, you know? I'm famous, you know, everybody watches me. It's nothing new. a little ways away from the damn city council meeting, walking in the rain, trying not to get too wet. getting very wet. My clothes are getting very wet. Hold on, I gotta wipe the rain off my phone with my pants. said they might have complimentary food. I don't think they do, but I don't care about that. I already ate. I'm just trying to protest because, you know what I'm saying? Where the fuck I'm supposed to go? I'm supposed to just sit out here in the rain because I'm homeless? That's not right. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to do something about it.
John, my story, I'm a homeless man. The police told me I can't hang out outside this abandoned building. kicked me out of this closed business I, I was sitting in front of to get some cover for the, from the rain. So I went to the police station and I told him, I said, hey, you know, can I at least chill in here for a few minutes? And they said, no. You know, I started complaining and they told me, you know, you should go to the city council meeting. So yeah, I'm about to go to the city council meeting, but it's a very, it's a long walk, like 30 minutes. And I asked them to give me a ride and those bastards wouldn't even give me a ride. You know, that's the least they could do. Honestly, it's the very least they could do. It was the very least they could have done. But you know they don't they don't care about us homeless they see us as so, some sort of uh plug or in station you know they don't see us as humans you know we're not people to them because we don't own businesses still walking down the road trying to get to the city council meeting I'm probably about 10, 15 minutes away now, maybe less. Is it the first Monday of the month? I don't think so. It's the second. Still a little ways away, making progress, so thank you all for joining my live stream tonight. For anyone who's just now joining, I'm on my way to a city council meeting. I'm on my way to a city council meeting. You know, I complained to the cops because they, they came and told me to leave. They told me to leave uh, in front of a, sitting out in front of a business to get out of the rain.
Thank you all for joining. I'm, I'm almost there. Almost there. Almost to the city council meeting. I hope I hope it's still going on. Everybody up for a dollar. Well, the thing is, even if I were to do that, it would have to be on my way out, you know, because you don't want to lose people's respect immediately. You know, I'm here. For, I'm here to have my message heard. I'm here to speak about the homeless in this community. And you know what? I hope I'm going to the right place. If does someone want to try to look it up for me? He said the city Paul hall was at the park. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm walking up to the park right now. There's a few buildings around here. I don't know. There's one building here. You know, I guess I'll try to look for a building that says City Hall. I've been there a thousand times. I, I, I don't think I've been. Yeah, I've never been to the city hall. Never. 
This looks like a big building, but I don't think it's a city hall. It says. in here this this might be it maybe not the door is not open there's some other buildings around here see look this this says hold on trying to turn the camera around so y'all can see this says senior that sign says senior dining center upper lodge it doesn't say city hall and the door was locked and the door was locked but there's people in there and they look like they're packing up from something oh this says district office so you know what it's an, another entrance to the same building but it says district office closed. District office. Okay, maybe this isn't it. it, it you know what? I got a thing that this is it because I see like three or four people in there. They look like they're packing stuff up. I feel like that could be it. And they're already finished. You know, and, and those fucking cops told me to come down here for nothing. But I'm gonna look around. All these, none of these other buildings look like they have people in them. Hey, hey, it's, it's, you said checked online. You know what? I believe you're probably right, Javier, because there's. I, I even saw an American flag in there, so it's like official government or whatever. Oh man, that's that's lame. Rude. said the meeting was 5 30 to 7 30. you know they, they probably knew that they probably knew that it says lower lodge the other place is upper lodge maybe these are all part of the same thing all of these other buildings don't have the lights on none of these other buildings have the lights on the only one that has the lights on is that one and the people inside are packing up I know a, 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 a shortcut way back to town. I didn't take the, that way here because uh, I, I I was pretty sure it was that building, so I had to come up to the front. But I know uh, I know a uh, uh, back way to get back to town a little bit faster. I feel a little bit faster. Yeah, thank you all for joining my live stream tonight. Let me turn the brightness up. Thank you all for joining. Unfortunately, you know, I I, I, I felt like that was probably going to be the case. You know, I, as soon as they told me it started at 5.30 or 5 o'clock, you know, I, I already felt like, it was gonna be already over by the time I got there. But you know what? You know, I wanted to at least, you know, 
try, try to try to go, you know. At least I try, you know. Maybe I'll try to remember the date of the next city council meeting and and show up to uh try to try to make some change around here, man. They don't care about us homeless out here. You say I can't believe they sent me out here for no reason. I can. It's a, like I told you, it's a game. It, it, it's all a joke to them, you know. It's all a joke. Uh, my problems aren't serious to them. Yeah. To them, making sure this degenerate homeless loser isn't sheltering from the rain in, in, in front of a closed business somebody else owns is more important than a, a, a human being, you know, suffering out, out in the elements. And so the just, I'm just a loser, degenerate that, that doesn't have a that's not needed in society that that shouldn't exist. I'm trying to zoom this out, but my phone's too wet to register my fingerprints. Fuck. Maybe if I do this. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to go back and try to get my water. Well, you know what? Actually, no, I'm not. Those bastards could try to fucking poison me. I have to get a new water bottle. I have to buy a new one. Those bastards could try to fucking poison me. You know, you can say, oh, that they, they play by the book. Uh, statistics say otherwise. They don't always play by the book. You know? That's what they want, and, and you're pro and, and you're probably part of the group that supports them, Jack, Mister Funny Guy, thinking you're funny with your name. You know that that's what that's what they want. They want to remove people they see as degenerates from their white society, you know, from their business owning society. No, they don't see us as human beings. But we have a right to exist, and we have a right to exist. As an American citizen, I have a right to exist here. You know, no matter how I have to try to find a, a screen filter that. Okay, this one's called Glamour, but it, it, it makes my it makes it brighter, it makes the screen a little bit brighter. They give everyone a hard time for being homeless because that's their job, you know. You, you can't say, oh, telling you to leave from sitting out in front of a business is, is not giving a hard time. It is. My, my time has gotten harder because of them coming to enforce that, you know, because they work for that class of people. They don't work for the people. They work for a certain class of people, business owners. <clears throat> and the laws are made by these business owners and these industry owners, small time and big time capitalists. You know, they, they, they write the laws and they make the laws in a way 
to criminalize us homeless people for not being an obedient worker, you know, for existing while not having a job, while not being enslaved to one of the capitalist employers. Yeah, if everyone sent me a dollar right now and I had a hundred dollars, I could probably find a hotel tonight. That's what the plan was. But thing is that that's not really uh really something that, that I, I expect to happen. You never know though. You never know. You, you never know. No, I'm not Jessica. I don't mute people, people for no reason. And I remember people who helped me. If everybody in here sends me a dollar, then I could get a hotel room. said, what gift would I appreciate the most as a homeless person? A house, <laughs> a place to live. We have more empty houses than homeless people in the United States. There's no reason that homelessness should be a thing here. There's no reason for it. Well, there is a reason. It's, it's, it's not logical. I guess it is seems logical for them. It's not a compassionate reason, but the capitalist don't solve the homelessness problem because having a certain percentage of people homeless makes other people more submissive it makes other people scared to fight back against their bosses and demand more to demand better wages to demand health care to demand a better lifestyle and, and more value from their labor because they produce the value but whenever you're scared of being homeless, if you lose your job, your boss has the bargaining power. And it makes the, uh, the working population more submissive. <laughs> 